So again here on my desktop, I have this my folder that has my Power Query Essentials data files that we are using for this course. And I have another workbook uh, number two append query. So I'm going to open up this workbook and we're going to see the data contents that we have there. So in this workbook, I have three worksheets, just like we saw earlier when we were bringing in data into Power Query. We have similar uh, kind of data in the three worksheets. And what I want to do is to combine all three of them together into a single uh, data source. So instead of having three different scattered data, I want to have just one that is uh, going to be a combination of the three of them. So if you think about it, then you know that the main reason why I may want to do something like this or the valid reason for me to want to do an append of query is because the data sets are essentially the same thing in structure. That means they all have the same heading, so it is easy for me to combine them together into a single data. And that's what we are going to try to do with Power Query. So I'm going to go over to a fresh Power BI desktop file, and that's the approach I'm going to use going forward for each of the transformation tasks that I'm going to be explaining. I'll be using fresh Power BI files for every one of them. All right, so here is my Power BI desktop, and I'm going to import data from an Excel workbook, my number two file from that, my desktop folder, append queries, I'm going to click open. And then in the navigator, since I want to append all three of them, I will just tick the box for the three of them. And then I can go ahead to click on transform data. All right, so here in my Power Query editor, I can see all my three queries. So I'll just go through them one by one very quickly. So on the third query, I have three rows which I'm going to append to the second query that is six rows. That's going to make it nine. And then the third query that is nine rows. So at the end of the day, when I finish my append, I am supposed to have 18 rows of data. So again, now you understand why I have to use data set that have small number of rows so that we can all understand the concepts very well and it's easy for you to see everything that is happening and one thing that you will also see is this for each of my queries if you check on the bottom left hand side of your power query it shows you the number of columns that you have in each one of them so i've got seven columns on the consumer i have seven columns on the corporate and i also have seven columns on the home office right so that probably confirms that i have the same structure of data so I'm going to go to my home tab in Power Query right here and towards the right hand side of my Power Query, that's where we are going to see a group of options under the group of combine. And the one I want to use right now is the append queries. So when I click on the append queries button, which I'm not going to do because I prefer to use the drop down for us to see all the options that are there. So if I click on the drop down for the append queries, you will see that I have two options. I can either append queries or append queries as new. Again, what you see is what you get and what you click is what you get. So if I use append queries, for example, what's going to happen is that since I currently have the home office query selected, if I use append queries, What's going to happen is I will simply just be adding extra rows of data from the consumer and the corporate to this particular query I have selected right now. However, if I use option number two, which is append query as new, what will happen is I'm going to have a new query here. So at the end of the day, my queries is going to become four and no longer three. So when I use append queries as new, it will generate a new query for me that is going to have a combination of the three queries I am going to be appending. So I'm going to go to my append queries, use a drop down, and I will select append queries as new. So I have my dialog box one more time. What you see is what you get. Don't get tired of it, right? So uh, in my dialog box, I have options to select either two tables or three tables. And since I really want to append three tables, I'm going to go with the three or more tables option. If I only have to append two tables, it's a matter of coming to the second table here to pick 
the second query that we want to append which is not what we want to do right now so i'm going to have to go with the three or more tables option so with the three or more tables option you will see that there are two sections to this available tables on the left and the tables to append on the right so i am currently seeing two tables to append by default here because i already selected two tables earlier but if i didn't go with that two tables earlier i should be seeing only one uh, query on the tables to append here but it really doesn't matter so what happens is for any query you want to append you have to get them into this box of tables to append like it is now i already have home office and corporate here I just want to come over here to select the consumer then I'm going to come here to click add and you see it goes straight into the tables to append box and when I click OK it simply means I will be adding all these three together right but before I, I do that let's assume that I want to remove everything or I want to remove something from the tables to append what I will do is select whichever one I want to remove and look for the cancel button which in my power bi now is right there at the bottom of this dialog box to remove right so i can remove this one i can click on corporate and remove i can click on consumer and also remove okay so now i'm going to re-add them again so you can do multi-select by holding the control key on your keyboard and choosing the next one that you would like to uh, also select so if i select consumer I can hold control to select corporate, hold control to select home office. Then I'm going to click add and then all three of them go into the tables to append box. So when I click OK, then you will see that like we expected, I have 18 rows of data and this includes the data rows from our consumer, our corporate and the home office. In the next video, we're going to take a look at some behavior of append queries that you have to be wary of.